lunch breaks on a construction site, they usually don't get much better than an Italian-style sandwich. The building that's being built is right here. But as Michael Nias was munching, his buddy came over to brag. I don't think he realized what he had. His friend had uncovered this while digging. Lucky for him, he showed it to the right carpenter. Right away, I could see the scientific value of it. I've collected fossils for a long time, so it was, it's kind of it's kind of neat that I was the one that got to find it, you know. Michael stopped his buddy from putting them in his truck and called the experts instead. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science says so far they found a limb bone and several ribs from a horned dinosaur. The scientists are so eager to look at it because it kind of gives the little more insight into the end of the dinosaurs. The construction site where the bones were found are on private property, so we can't access it. But Michael says they were found just behind that dirt pile there in the middle, and he says those excavators are working to clear the area just in case there are more. Paleontologists have been on the site since Thursday, and Michael will be keeping a close eye on what they find. I kind of believe that, uh, you know, extinctions have happened before, and they can happen again, and the more knowledge we have of it, better off we'd be. He's got a new lunch spot with a front row seat to history. In Highlands Ranch, Katie Eastman, Nine News. And the curator of vertebrate paleontology at the museum says the fossils are embedded in a rock layer that is 66 to 68 million years old. Again, that construction site is not open to the public.